Hi, what are you doing in the garden today? Well, you know, it's that time of year, the strawberry season is pretty well done. And um, I'm working on developing plants for next year. Because you know what? As much as you think runners are gonna produce berries for you, I found a trick uh, from some other uh, YouTube channels. And what I like to do is create an opportunity environment where these runners become potted and then gives me the option to put these pots every other places. Now, where do you get the pots from? These are recycled from other uh, plants we bought or used. Uh, you use them over and over and again. So here, here's the problem with, with strawberries. Not really a problem, but strawberries can be challenging. You pretty much only get two years out of a normal bed of strawberries, maybe three. First year you put them in, second you get a light crop, third year you get a bigger crop, and then by the fourth year, it's done. So what I found is by using grass compost, underneath the grass is compost. So what I like to do when the season is done, now this is this, this garden bed's the second year, when the season was done, I put compost around the plants, threw some grass clippings down from the yard. You can use, uh, you know, anything that has pretty much weed free. I guess my grass isn't weed free, but <laughs> it does, uh, there are weeds in there, but um, it's, it's just anything with, with grass. You can put straw around. I like grass because there's a little bit more organic ma matter in there. Um, I do f straw my st uh, strawberry plants in the fall just for freezing purposes. But uh, the purpose is to keep the nutrients in, I also did some fertilizer in here, and here's what I like to use. What do you use? Yep, I use, because uh, strawberries do like a little higher nitrogen level, so I do use some liquid fertilizer, fish fertilizer by Alaska. Uh, great, great product. And um, it's one of the little stinky, but hey, it works. And then you also can give it a nice little uh, light treatment of, of bone meal. And then mix that in. And I like to do that not only in the spring, I do buy a fertilizer from a company called Gardens Alive that has everything in it for strawberry. I hit that in the spring. But then now this time of year, I did hit it with some fish, fish meal, I mean fish fertilizer. You can use also fish meal. I did throw in some alfalfa meal um, and then blood meal with that gets the nitrogen level a little higher. So are you doing that this time of the year or in the fall? Yeah, I already did it uh, before I, when I put the compost down, I put these products around the plants and then I throw the grass on top and then I'll probably hit it again with some fish fertilizer in August and then maybe lightly in September depending how the plants are looking. So now we've had a lot of rain here in southern New Hampshire, yeah, New Hampshire we, yeah. zone five. What about people that maybe aren't getting rain and they're in a drought condition this time of year. Yeah, the grass tippings are going to help a lot. If you can get, if you're in a drought, it's going to be hard to get grass tippings. I realize that. But you got to keep those strawberry plants weed free and well watered. Um, that, that, is, that is the key there. So it also helps with keeping the drought down too. Um, so so with, then what do mm -hmm. you do with the pots once? Yeah, so I'm going to show you what I okay. do here. So basically I'm just going to grab one of these little runners here. Um, here we go. This here. So a runner is what? Coming off the plant. A shoot, they, they, basically. They up. And some people don't even do runners. They'll cut them all off and just encourage that plant to get really big. Okay. And you're going to get probably larger strawberries, more condensed. This way here, though, I'm letting it run out a little bit, taking advantage of it. However, I'm not going to keep all these runners here. Mm. I'm going to use some of these pots, which I will transplant in September. Take a look over that garden bed over there. Then if you want to look over to your right, that bed's on its last year. Where all the grass cuppings right, are? Right, you can see there's very few plants in there. They look, they look a little tired out. So I'll take some of these plants in September, transplant them into some of the open areas over there, assuring me that that bed will also get a nice, quick jolt of a fresh plant. It, it works, it really did well. I did it last year and uh, last couple of years and it's made a big difference. So let's go ahead and show you how simple this is. So we're gonna basically cut, pull back the grass. So basically what's happening is you're getting more plants out of an existing plant. Exactly, yep, yep. Yeah, we're just gonna basically bury it in there. How many and years have you been doing this? This is my third year of doing this. And uh, now some people, believe it or not, don't even buy strawberry plants. They make plants out of this continually, mm -hmm. um, as long as they're disease free. I haven't gotten that point yet. I just like to know I'm getting fresh strawberry plants, you know, every year. And that just keeps it, I'm sure I'm not bringing diseases, you know, so keeping disease in the garden. 
putting that deep down into that nope, soil. Just on, just on the surface. And that's going to shoot out roots in the bottom. You basically planted your pot in the yeah. soil. And that's, that's going to touch the soil. It's going to shoot out roots. Um, you see if I can find some over here that already have rooted. Um, yep, here we go. I think I feel one here. Here we go, see? That's what, the, that's what the nap should want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one here. And we're going to, since it's already doing its thing, I'm going to encourage it just by throwing in the pot. Oh, another thing, I don't know if I mentioned this, the pots help hold moisture in better too. So that way you aren't going to have a problem. Um, your runner's drying off. You do get a dry spell all of a sudden. The, the pots will hold the moisture longer. And um, you sure yourself to get that nice fresh plant. Now I'm also going to do it. I do have another bed I just uh, started this year. And I'll show you that in a second. And here we go. Just stick it in like that. Very easy. It is. A little on top of that. And that is it. Wow. Um, let me go over and show you the bed I just started this year over here. I'm along this way. So I have a total of five strawberry beds. I got one over here. This one here. That one there is year number three, I believe. And then this one is brand new. And that one over there is its last year. You can just this tell. This bed here. This bed here is on its fifth year. Um, I'd mentioned that, you know, most, you know, strawberry beds last about three, maybe four years. This is on its fifth year. I have my rotation of fertilizers, um, compost, mulches, and then doing the interplanting with the pots of strawberry plants. I'm getting five years of one bed. So that's a really long time for one bed. Trust me, it's tired when it gets done. and easy to really hit heavy with a lot of nutrients, but because I'm, and the strawberries get small over time too, what's going on, but you can get five years by doing what I what I do. But I do, you know, the nutrition and everything, but here we go, these, these are all brand new plants. I just did my grass clippings now. I didn't put compost around, I composted this last fall. So when I start, my fall preparation, I'll take one of my good beds that I have not had any strawberries in it for the last three years and not tomatoes either for disease. And I'll compost it quite heavily, grow my winter ryegrass, and then in the spring, we start strawberries again. So that's how we work it out. Um, it's really quite simple. I'll tell you what, if I can do this, you can do this. It's so simple. Um, any questions you might have, you can go back and check out some other videos that have had information about uh, what to do with strawberries, some great recipes, and also other tips on strawberries. So, hope you enjoyed this. Thank you again for coming along with us for another uh, day with a Simply Garden and Home. See you later. Bye-bye.